hey, look at this. Mr. Sabian and Mr. Babaro are going hunting. That's daring. I didn't know they were going to purge together. Are they friends? Mm, and the Farrens are having a party. Grace said she wasn't having a party this year. Well, just thank God we weren't invited. She's nice, but wow, she's annoying. All right, let's get ready for tonight. As always, just a precaution. All right, Mr. Callie is starting his lockdown. Okay. We ready? All right, let's hit it. of the annual purge sanctioned by the U.S. government. Weapons of class four and lower have been authorized for use during the purge. All other weapons are restricted. Government officials of ranking 10 have been granted immunity from the purge and shall not be harmed. Commencing at the siren, any and all crime, including murder, will be legal for 12 continuous hours. Police, fire, and emergency medical services will be unavailable until tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. when the purge concludes. Blessed be our new founding fathers and America, a nation reborn. May God be with you all. Where's the man? I, I don't know. I don't understand. Who is he? Why did you let him in our home? He was hurt. He called for help. No one was helping him. Charlie, Jesus Christ, what the hell, huh? We have no idea what this man is Enough. capable of. Enough, James. He's gone. We don't know what Henry might do. And we're not safe out here. We don't know where Zoe is. You're right. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. That 
someone's saying something. Clear Mrs. Sandin. Your home tells me you're a good folk, just like us. One of the halves. And your blue flowers tell me that you support the purge. And we want to treat you fairly, so listen closely. Let me introduce us. We are some fine, young, very educated guys and gals. We've gotten gussied up in our most terrifying guises. As we do every year. Ready to violate annihilate and cleanse our souls. But things took a turn. Our target escaped us and uh, several of your dear neighbors informed us that you, the Sandins, have inexplicably given him sanctuary. Mr. and Mrs. the man you're sheltering is nothing but a dirty homeless pig. A grotesque menace to our just society who had the audacity to fight back, killing one of us when we attempted to execute him tonight. The pig doesn't know his place and now he needs to be taught a lesson. You need to return him to us. Alive. So that we may purge as we are entitled. Here's the plan, Sandins. You have until our provisions arrive, provisions which will help us break into your elegant home. If you don't, if you don't deliver him by the aforementioned time, we'll release the beast on him and on you, and um, we can enter any home we want, and we will want, as wanting as our will on this fine night. Don't force us to hurt you. We don't want to kill our own. Please just let us purge. <laughs> to the loose ended. Cut it, cut it now. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but I'd love to have a word. Maybe by your front door. I just need a moment, good sir. There you are. Thank you for accepting my invitation. Now tell me, why haven't you delivered the filthy swine to me yet? Are you protecting him? I surely hope not, Mr. Sandin. No, of course not. I just can't find him. You see, this is a misunderstanding. My son let him in. He's a young boy, he doesn't know better, you know, but I support what occurs here tonight, 100%, okay? I sell security equipment. All right, so I would never deny yours or anybody else's right to purge. We're very- Just do us, the homeless pig, you fuck! Sorry about that. I don't condone that kind of behavior. But just keep in mind, Mr. Sandin, he was my friend, and you are not. Our equipment is arriving soon, and we will get in. So not he or that, we'll be thee. I'll go get him. You should do that. Silly, I will not let him hurt you. Leave 
her alone. I will let you son of a bitch. I will okay. let you go when this night is over. You're gonna get us all killed. You know that. They're coming in here and they are gonna kill us all. Yeah, okay. They are gonna come in here and they are. Okay. You gotta leave my family out of this, okay? If you don't drop your gun, I will hurt her and I will hurt you. We didn't do anything to you. We don't deserve this. I don't deserve this either. Now listen, I don't want to hurt any of you. But I am not dying tonight. Drop this gun. Please. Drop it. But listen to me. The gun. Listen to me. Okay? You are going to die tonight. And you can either die like a man and walk outside there by yourself, or you can die like a coward and get my wife and my children killed along with you. Okay, so take that gun away from my daughter's head. Shoot him, Mary, shoot him! <laughs> I have another idea. What are you gonna do? Charlie! Charlie! Alright, Charlie, listen to me. Listen to me right here. You take this gun. Alright, you take Dad, this gun. Dad, are you sending him outside? No, alright? You're gonna go hide in the basement okay. and you're not gonna come out for anybody, alright? Okay. You got that. You're a good boy. Alright, go, go. You just gave our son a gun. You wanna tell me what the hell we're doing? We're gonna fight. Take this one as well. Okay. Safety's off. Okay. Hang on, here's a lot of rounds. What do I do? You're gonna cover the other side of the house. All right, this is our home. Our kids live here. Anybody tries to come in, you blast them. You will not hesitate. Mm. You're Mr. Mishes! I'm sorry to tell you this, but your time is essentially up. And you failed! You failed to deliver the homeless swine. I'm very disappointed as you fine folk should know better that piece of filth that you are protecting exists only to serve our need to purge. So I bid thee farewell, sweet Sandy. Release the beast, boys! Let the killing commence!
Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Thank you for your sacrifice. You got a lot of heart, Mr. Sandin. Bless be America. A nation reborn. We saw that you were having some trouble. We decided to help you. Same as I don't know what to say. <laughs> don't thank us too much, Mary. The truth is, you're ours, not theirs. What do you, what do you mean, ours? What do you mean, what do you mean, ours? Dad? No, no, Dad! Dad. Dad. James is dead. Mary and the kids will have to do. Let's 
Tie them up. We'll kill them right here. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. No, no, come on. No, no, no. Did you enjoy Grace's purge party, Mr. Halverson? Fuck yourself. Sorry, I can't hear you. It was very nice. Oh, good. I'm glad you all had a grand time. Now get the hell out of my house. allows people a release for all the hatred and violence that they keep up inside them. Why don't you guys kill someone tonight? Because we don't feel the need to, Johnny. Just remember all the good the purge does. We'll be fine just like always, no worries, okay? This is your emergency broadcast system announcing the commencement of the annual purge. At the Siren, all emergency services will be suspended for 12 hours. Your government thanks you for your participation. Help me! Someone, please! Help me! I just need to get someone safe! Does anybody hear me? Let him in our home. We have no idea who's after him. Our target for this year's purge is hiding in your home. You have one hour to find him and give him to us, or we'll kill all of you. They can't get in here, right? They can't get into our home. Nothing is ever going to be okay again.